And welcome back to a fundraising edition of South Florida Arts Beat here on 91.3 WLRN and 91.5 WKWM. Please keep those pledge lines ringing while the show is on the air. Your contribution acts as a vote of confidence for arts coverage here on WLRN and South Florida Arts Beat. Hello, Ed Bell with you. Up next, we'll introduce you to an event that hopes to unite South Florida's not-for-profits for for a large-scale community event in Midtown Miami. We recently invited James Eccles, co-founder of PhilanthroFest, on South Florida Arts Beat to tell us more. Mr. James Eccles, welcome to South Florida Arts Beat. Thank you for having me on, Ed. First off, let's talk about PhilanthroFest. What the heck is that? It's a uh, community festival up in Midtown. It's uh, designed to celebrate and uh, promote culture and philanthropy in Miami and all of South Florida, really. Now, why do we need a PhilanthroFest? Well, we saw a need to uh, help promote community-mindedness. And uh, a lot of these organizations um, need help getting their their mission out and and, uh, promoting what they do. So uh, we wanted to put together a really fun kind of uh, festival atmosphere with music and art and fashion and kid stuff and everything like that to bring people in and uh, to introduce them to all sorts of different organizations that are available in the South Florida area, whether or not they are interested in uh, volunteering or, uh, you know, going to fundraisers or, um, or even in need of their services. Do you think there's a, a big increase in attendance by uh, particularly younger people who enjoy the arts in these areas? I see a lot of volunteerism organizations, uh, for instance, connected with uh, our big museums and things like that. Uh, is there a growth in that area of volunteerism? I really think so. Um, there's a lot more of the uh, young professional organizations that are coming together that are connected with some of the nonprofits and some of the cultural organizations. And there are a lot more uh, young people that are getting more involved in both charity and in culture. And it just, it seems to be kind of a rising trend and we just want to help push that along. Very necessary infrastructure, uh, I'm sure you would agree. Yes, absolutely. One of the things that we believe is uh, kind of the old adage that a rising tide raises all ships. Mm So if we work to help everybody then we all benefit. Even if you're not necessarily in need of those services uh, yourself, if you help other people uh, do better, if we help the community as a whole, that helps business, that helps everybody, uh, you know, more employment, everybody gets paid more, uh, and uh, so we all have a better life together. Well, James, what will you be offering at PhilanthroFest? It's going to be a a, a large outdoor festival. Uh, We'll have a stage with uh, live music. Uh, Cleveland Jones is going to be there. Uh, Danger Flow, Elastic Bond. Um, There'll be a large art uh, show with um, uh, lots of South Florida artists there showing. Uh, We'll have uh, live performances. We'll have um, fashion shows. There's going to be a kids area for the kids to come and have fun at. And then we'll have uh, over 75 community organizations set up there that you can just wander around and uh, enjoy. They'll have interactive uh, activities at them and you can learn about what's going on in, in South Florida. What organizations and people came together to make your first PhilanthroFest a reality? This was put together by two organizations. Uh, mine is called Life is Art. We're a, a nonprofit that uh, promotes the arts in South Florida through events and education. And we joined with Miami Crawls, and they produce um, kind of party events to uh, raise funds for nonprofits. Uh, we've been around, Life is Art has been around a little bit over three years, and they've only been around eight months, but we've both been enjoying some very nice success, and uh, we wanted to share that with other organizations and with the community. Now, I understand correctly, this is free, and it's taking yes. place Saturday, April 14th at 6 p.m. in a great new green space, open space, Midtown Miami's green space, it's called, 110 Northeast 36th Street in Midtown. So uh, tell us about the development of that uh, space, a, a perfect location for you, I would yeah, hope. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. It's right there in the middle of Midtown. It's, it's across the street from like Sakaya Kitchen. It's just down from Target. Um, it's right next to all the condos. So it's, it's this beautiful kind of open space, two and a half acres. I think it's huge. Mm. So the new developer who just bought that area, Alex Vadia, um, he donated the space to us to have this festival here. He's really interested in bringing in more arts and culture and philanthropy to the area. 
So how do you see it uh, being laid out? Everybody under tents? Or? Yes, exactly. Each of the organizations will be grouped under large tents. There's about eight large tents with different organizations. Um, each tent holds uh, between 10 and 15 organizations. They'll be organized by type of organization, youth services, uh, health services, uh, cultural organizations, things like that. So each tent will be a, a different kind of a grouping of organizations. We'll have a much larger tent with uh, the art show inside of it. and mm. All of the artists should be in residence, so you can go and you can meet the artists, you can see the art work and then we'll have a, a bunch of uh, uh, vendor booths there as well and some food for that matter now i'm sure most of the work is done james right uh, <laughs> but but uh who else do you need to or hope to come on board Right now, uh, if we're we're looking uh, primarily for community performers, uh, bands with local schools, mm -hmm. uh, musicians with uh, you know magnet schools or colleges or anything like that that would like to, we have a stage. We'd like to showcase some of the community musicians out there. So if those are interested in performing, uh, anybody who wants to come out and do stuff, we're also looking for vendors if you want to come out. And we do have some space left for nonprofit organizations. And let me point out that the space for the charities and the cultural organizations is all free. They they don't right. pay. Oh. Yeah, they don't pay anything. It's free because? Because it's funded primarily by the Knight Foundation, uh, came on with a big sponsorship, the Miami CRA, and we also have some private donors, and we're doing some fundraising. Like this past Wednesday, we had a uh, fundraiser at, at uh, Wood Tavern, a new place in Wynwood, and they donated their space and time, and mm -hmm. we, we raised some good funds there. And actually, last month, we had a fundraiser at the stage also, and, and we raised some good money there. So we also do, and we always do fun fundraisers, parties, and, you know, music and and also, Mayor Thomas Regalado and Mayor Carlos Jimenez have both come on board as supporting this. They've given us letter support, and they're providing um, logistical support to, to help put this together for us. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, how can uh, our listeners get in touch with you if they want to, for instance, volunteer for a PhilanthroFest or if they want to get their not-for-profit involved or if they're an artist and they want to become involved? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, we have a website. It's philanthrofest.com, P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H-R-O-F-E-S-T.com. Uh, you can also find us easily on Facebook uh, or Twitter. Now, can we also lead them to your not-for-profit lifeisartfest.org? That's us. And miamicrawls.com for yes, more info? absolutely. Phone number? 305-494-5992. Well, James Eccles, thank you so much for joining us here on South Florida Arts Beat, and good luck with the first and hopefully annual PhilanthroFest. It sounds like it's a wonderful uh, event to unite South Florida's not-for-profits and musicians and artists, and good luck to you, sir. Thank you so much, Ed. Please keep our pledge lines ringing. Your generous donation counts as a vote of confidence for arts coverage here on WLRN and South Florida Arts Beat. We'll return in just a moment. 